Hello, minions. Today, we're going to wrap up the week. We're going to talk about me spinning off another channel. Let's go talk about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get into what went up on the channel this week, which will lead into the final topic we'll discuss, which is spinning up a new channel, which I just kind of considered a few minutes ago and have already decided that's apparently what I'm going to do. So this week, um, let's go ahead and start off with, um, actually, we'll, we'll start off with what went live on the channel this week. So since last week's wrap up, I posted a video uh, about how Modern Warfare is still better than Cold War. I went back and played some Modern Warfare. Uh, live uh, commentated two matches of Kill Confirmed, I believe, and uh, just had a blast playing Modern Warfare. I was capturing some footage for my Cold War Sucks video, <laughs> which is another video that went up, and just was having some fun playing Modern Warfare. Posted that video, so go check that out. Here's a clip from that video if you want to take a look. Throwing a stun! I've marked the target! Fire! Need those tags, even though I just called a cluster in over here. <laughs> oh, I didn't call it far enough to actually get those guys, and I almost... Hey, I got a kill, though. The guy came forward to get my tag, and I got him. Exactly like I planned. Okay, so, and I mentioned in that video that I was capturing some of it for this for a Cold War Sucks video. So I know I did why Domination Sucks in Cold War, um, but I have just, every time I keep going back to Cold War, I just keep getting this overwhelming feeling that Cold War is just slowly destroying my soul. Um, and not slowly, either. <laughs> it is slowly, quickly destroying my soul. And uh, so I, I put together, I was like, you know what, let's make this into something kind of more produced. So I put together a... Uh, uh, a list of discrete items in Cold War that add together to make it just kind of this painful experience. So I put together a video called Why Cold War Sucks, um, What is Wrong with Cold War. So um, go check that out if you want to. Here's a clip from that. But the guns also just feel very pew 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 You guys enjoying these? Pew, 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 In Modern Warfare. Anyway. Subjective. My preference. <laughs> Alright, so, so go check that out. I think that's a good one. Um... I'm still playing Cold War off and on, just jumping in to shoot Modern Warfare a little bit. But uh, yeah, Cold War just not not doing well. Um, I was again about to say, I, there's something I mentioned in my Battlefield 6 video, which I'll talk about in just a second, that also refers to something else that's broken in Cold War that I didn't bring up in Cold War Sucks, which is that I tried playing with my son on uh, Cold War this weekend because he was like hey let's play some call of duty together he likes playing against bots when he and i can be on a team um he's not quite up to my level yet <laughs> so, so um so we tried to do that in cold war and it is broken like you can create a local game for split screen and jump into it but immediately whenever the game launches there's a ui error the entire hud dies and you can't, there's no HUD, there's no radar, there's no ammo counter. You can't bring up a pause menu, you can't change classes. You just have to wait for the timer to run out and the game to end, or you have to kill it from the console menu. I mean, I don't know if this is true on all platforms. We were playing on PlayStation 5, but Cold War sucks. <laughs> Battlefield 6, there was an announcement this week. Um, everybody's known there's a new Battlefield game coming for some time. There was an unofficial official announcement in EA's public earnings call where they mentioned that they're going to be releasing their next Battlefield game. Whether or not it'll be called Battlefield 6, I think is still unconfirmed. Uh, holiday of this year, 2021, which is exciting. And that they will be doing a official reveal in the spring, which is about the March to May time frame. 
So I created a video with some Battlefield 4 gameplay that I played the other day um, and just talked about what they announced and also kind of what I'm hoping for from a new Battlefield game. So I think that's also another fun video to watch. So if you guys are interested in some, some early hype about a new Battlefield game, go check that one out and here's a clip from it. Anyway, all that is to say that I've loved Battlefield for a long time and I am super excited about the potential for a new Battlefield game because Battlefield 1 did not catch my attention. I got it. I still have it, I think. I don't know how far I played it. I don't know how much, if any, I actually posted it to the channel. Battlefield 5, I think I posted a couple videos. I didn't play much of that either. Not just because those games didn't capture my attention, but there was also a whole lot going on in my life that was during the, that was kind of like during my dead time. Uh, all right, so that covers kind of the public content on the channel, and I say public content, and the fact that I have to specify this is why I'm, I'm getting to what I wanted to address at the beginning of the video. Unpublic content, the unlisted content that you guys can still get through if you navigate through the uh, playlists on my channel or the links that I post in the description, um, or if you look at my community tab where I post, kind of, that's how I've been posting the announcements for when I post story time videos. Um, my cinematic gameplay and story time videos uh, that posted this week are episode 18, the final episode of Jedi Fallen Order. So it's the, th the, the end of the Fallen Order storyline and campaign, uh, which I really enjoyed, um, even though I, I, I spent a lot of time not necessarily enjoying some of the tediousness of the gameplay of Jedi and Fallen Order. Once it wrapped up, uh, definitely enjoyed the storyline of, of Fallen Order and the kind of core gameplay mechanics of being a Jedi. So um, go check that out if you want to see how the story wraps up. Here's a clip from that video. What? 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 That doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, I'm not going to give you a clip from the cinematic version because it's just the same thing but without my commentary over the top and all the fluff cut out. Um, and then I posted one other thing in the story timeline. I did another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, episode 18 of that as well. Valhalla is not at its last episode. In fact, there's probably 60 plus hours ahead of me <laughs> in that game. We shall see. Uh, I am still enjoying it when I play it, and uh, I think that comes across in the story time videos. Um, so episode 18 of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Here is a clip from that. Here we go. Oh, right in the butthole! Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. No one deserves to die that way. Why have I done this? So that one's still going, um, which is... That sums up all the content I posted to the channel this week, which brings me to the core point I want to adjust, which is I have been looking at the fact that I was originally posting story time and get cinematic gameplay videos. It started to flood my channel page, my channel starting to look like a let's play page. I didn't want to do that. I still, when I'm playing single player games, I like capturing and posting them. I still want to do that. Doing it as an unlisted has basically made them a non-existent piece of YouTube. Like nobody can really get to them. Nobody can easily find them. If it doesn't come up in your subscription feed, people aren't really gonna find it. It's not searchable on YouTube because it's unlisted. Um, so it just causes all kinds of, I say issues. I, I post videos because I think that they're enjoyable to watch. So posting something that's unlisted on my channel, which basically guarantees that no one's ever gonna see it, kind of feels like I'm spending a lot of time producing stuff for no reason. <laughs> And I still don't want my channel to get flooded with that because for Wheezy's Gaming, I really like the helpful content that I can create, the playing with friends, that kind of more entertaining content, the stuff that Wheezy's about that I kind of started this channel for. And I was re recalling, and it still happened, I just recovered it this morning because I forgot kind of the password for it. I recovered the Uber Amalgamation channel so I can... Although I tried to transfer it over to this account and now it's in this weird limbo. So hopefully I didn't destroy the Uber Amalgamation channel, but if I did, it's not, 
It's not the biggest loss in the world. Um, but that is not going to be the new channel that I start because the Uber amalgamation, if it survives whatever YouTube has done to it with me trying to transfer it over, um, is is still like the Clips channel. So if I rescue that, then it may come back as a Clips channel, but even then, I don't know if that's gonna be worth it. I may just post clips to this channel, especially now there's YouTube Shorts. We will see. The new channel that I think I'm gonna create, um, I haven't decided exactly what to call it yet, but it'll be something along the lines of Wheezy's Storytime, um, which will be a Let's Play channel, essentially, for all of the content I'm putting together for that. That way I'll have somewhere to post it, somewhere that it can live, somewhere that people can discover it, I don't necessarily think that the, the people who are going to come to Weezy's Gaming are, are exactly the same crowd that are going to enjoy the Let's Play content, and it may just be found by people who enjoy those specific games that I'm playing at the time, whether it's Assassin's Creed Valhalla, if I get back to Alien Isolation, the Cold War campaign. So the idea, and I've also considered just the time that it takes to split those videos into two, I'm going to still edit the cinematic video alongside the commentated video, but I think I'm only going to post the commentated videos up front, and then either periodically or just at the end, like I did with the Cold War uh, full cinematic gameplay, I will post a, a full uh, cinematic version of the gameplay. I don't think necessarily people are, are going to be super interested in showing up for five to ten minutes of story gameplay <laughs> at a time. At, somewhere down the line, people may want to be like, you know, watch the entire campaign in kind of a cinematic format. So I still want to put that together, even just for my own edification because I like that uh, in case I want to go back and revisit a game that had a good story I can just sit down and basically watch it like a movie um, so I think so I think I've decided that that is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create another channel uh, and of course I'll mention here and probably my weekly wrap-up videos and not probably definitely my weekly wrap-up videos I will still point you guys to what's gone over there so you just still like it is now where you can still access it and I'll still tell you it exists um, and I can even share it to my community posts in the same way. Uh, it'll just link to a different channel. I can, uh, I can still let you guys know what's going on. And uh, people who do want to find that kind of content uh, will be able to. So that's kind of what I've decided. Um, other than that, uh, playing Battlefield 4 a little bit has got me motivated to go and dig back into other Battlefield games, but other shooters in general. Again, as I'm trying to build up a library of uh, clips and stuff to reboot the Wheezy's War College series, I don't want it all to be in like Modern Warfare and Cold War. Um, back in the day when I was creating Wheezy's War College, like it was uh, Bad Company 2 and like Battlefield 3 and Medal of Honor, Warfighter, and there were like a lot of shooters that were active at the time playing. Um, that I was able to kind of pull from, put that together, Battlefield Vietnam. And uh, right now, it's not necessarily the case. I mean, again, games like Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, those games still exist. I can still go back and play them, but I want to focus more on relevant modern games. Um, but like I said in other videos, like some of the Call of Duty games before Modern Warfare were all futuristic-y stuff, and then... Um, and then like Battlefield has gone to World War One and World War Two, which I can still include and I most likely will include because um, they all apply. They're all first person shooters. But my passion is modern games. And so that's part of why it's been more difficult for me to kind of really get into that. So um, I'm going to start kind of like trying to branch out, especially since Cold War has kind of been like pissing me off. I don't necessarily want to hang around and spend another year playing Cold War. Um, and Battlefield isn't going to be coming out till the end of the year. I'm probably going to bounce around to some old shooters uh, and play them and capture some video for the World College series. And as I go, as things are interesting and worth posting, you will see them on the channel. So some commentated first-person shooter gameplay from recent and maybe less recent shooter games. So uh, if you guys have suggestions for shooters I ought to take check out and play and include in the War Caller series that I haven't touched before uh, or that you really enjoy, let me know. As you guys know, if you saw my PC gaming update, I now have at least enough, enough heft that I could get into some PC games if they're worth checking out. Um, traditionally a console gamer, that's what I really love, um, but I am not anti-PC by any means and uh, would not be opposed to getting into that if there's something worth checking out. So give me your feedback on everything I said here. Give me your thoughts, opinions, ideas. Like this video. Sideways like. Like like a gladiator. Like it if you liked it. If you disliked it, dislike.
I know, I'm the only YouTuber that's actually telling people to do this. <laughs> um, if you're if you're uh, if you're not subscribed, you're not a minion. Be one of my minions. Subscribe to the channel and hang around for my random ramblings and shooting stuff and learning stuff and cool things. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.